Hey guys, what's up? This is Al from GeorgeArc.com, and today I have another Android app review for you guys of Tweetcaster Pro by Handmark. Now this is a Twitter client for Android that is absolutely gorgeous, but there's other Twitter clients on the Android market that are a lot cheaper and do some more features. If this is going to cost you $5 in the Android market, it needs to support everything. I'm talking videos right on the timeline, twit longer support, a ton of different things that this doesn't have, but even some free Twitter clients have. Let's go ahead and take a look at the application itself. Alright guys, so as you can see we have two widgets. One right here which just lets us tap on the Android roll to actually uh, customize and select what account we want the widget. We can tap on the little bird to actually launch into the app. We can tap this little bubble to actually go straight into typing a tweet. And we can tap that as well to do the same thing which is pretty pointless. This widget is identical to that except it allows you to read one tweet. You can actually skip forward and backwards to tweets which is pretty cool or you can play it to actually just make it like a slideshow and refresh it so let's go ahead and jump into the actual application itself and look at it and right from the jump the user interface is gorgeous right here we can tap on this to actually go back to our accounts view and we can add multiple accounts we can look at trending topics and as you can see it actually loads it up processes it and there they are go ahead and close that scroll down and I guess we can search Twitter and look at nearby tweets so let's go ahead and go back into the account and look at the experience itself. You'll see up on top here we have our actual username. It's Android's World, so make sure you guys follow me. It's just at Android's World. And this is where you get to see my bio, my actual tweets. This is where you get to message me. I can look at my favorite tweets. And here is the lists. You can also tap this to actually set a new tweet or edit my profile right from here, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and jump back here. And we'll go into my app replies. As you can see, the app replies are indeed red, which is pretty interesting. We can tap on one of those tweets to reply. Reply to all the usernames in the tweet. Favorite tweet, retweet it, profiles, look at the follows, or share it. So here's the actual timeline. As you can see, all the tweets are just black, and you get the same exact experience there. Now when I go into reply, it takes me into this cool user interface where I can actually tap right on that eye to look at the tweets or hide the keyboard technically. Tapping this, we can get to some customizations like adding a picture or video, shrinking URLs, geotagging, or even adding a username to the tweet who I'm following and who's following me, which is really, really, really cool. I can send the tweet off, you get to see my remaining character count, and I can post through Facebook or Twitter, so just really, really a lot of customization. Going back into the pencil button is pretty much the same thing. So we're going to jump back here. And I'm going to tap on a tweet, and I'm going to hit retweet. And as you can see, it does a little RT, and I get to retweet it. That's the old-style retweet, which is quite nice. Scrolling is incredibly fluid, as you can see. The experience itself, it tells you how many minutes ago the tweet was sent, what the tweet says, the username, and their picture. And just really, really nice. It also tells you what they used to tweet it. So tapping menu, we get to get to some settings, like jumping to the top, which I'll show you guys if I scroll down the list. Tap menu, hit jump to top, takes me right to the top. I can refresh Twitter, see it lets me know how long I re uh, refreshed and how many tweets are on my timeline. I can look at people, which again, who I'm following and who's following me. Tapping menu again, I can go to the tweet filter and that's where I get to search whatever I want on the actual application, which is a really cool feature as well. I can get more apps by hand mark or I can go into more. This is where I can quick follow, so all I have to do is type in a username and I get to follow them instantly, which is another really cool feature. I can refresh everything, which includes the timeline, the mentions, my messages, my favorites, and my lists. I can go into some settings. As you can see, I can select some themes. So I'll keep it on dark, but I'll just show you guys. Um, we start later. I'll just show you guys what that looks like with the bubbles here. I'll go on bubbles dark. And I'll exit now. You're going to have to exit, launch it back open. And now you see there's like bubbles there. Um, both of them are okay. I just like having it with no bubbles, really. Of course, it comes down to personal preferences. Real quick, while we're here, you can exit the app and go to the About screen. We're going to go back into settings here. I'm going to set the back on to the No Bubbles light. Or no, I'll show you guys the light theme real quick. And as you can see, you can change the small, uh, the font size, so I'll set that onto large. I can display full names. I can use the old style retweet, which is the RT. I can set some notification settings like the ringtone, the notification light, and the vibration and what I want them to notify me on, which are the tweets, mentions, or messages. I can change my U URL shortening, image, and video services as well as my default URL options. If I have Facebook, I can log in that. And I can auto-refresh the interval and even refresh on Shake. 
So I'm gonna do real quick is just restart the no I'm gonna put on bubbles light and I'm gonna exit now, launch on the application, and this is what the light theme looks like with the incredibly large font. Other than that, that's Tweetcaster. Alright guys, so that is indeed the $5 Twitter client for Android. Me personally, it's not my favorite one. The widget's not that great. The user interface, don't get me wrong, is incredibly gorgeous and incredibly fast to navigate on my phone, which is the Nexus One, of course. And just all in all, I don't think it's worth $5, especially because there's other Twitter clients that are free, like Twika Beta um, or TweetsRide, that do pretty much all these features sometimes have better user interfaces. I mean, there's a ton of different things that other Twitter clients can do that this one can't, but this one can do a lot. It's $5, so if you have the money to spend and if you like the user interface, of course, to each its own, then definitely get this application. It's very reliable, very fast. Notifications are great. Just everything about this Twitter client is phenomenal other than the price. Thanks for watching this Android app review. This is out from its Android world, so make sure you guys follow me on my Twitter and, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in my next DroidShark.com Android app review. Thank <laughs> you.